what is going on everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to create an unattended installation of Windows 10 so what is an unattended installation an unattended installation is basically the process of installing um, Windows 10 on your computer without user interaction in other words that the installation is completely automated and it, this is usually achieved with the help of an answer file so let's get started for this I'm going to all the tools that I'm going to use here are absolutely free as a matter of fact you only need only two tools I'm going to use Rufus and Power ISO so let's go ahead and download the Windows 10 installation so I'm going to double click on Rufus and here um, I'm going to click on select and I'm going to click on downloads and then select download and this is going to prompt me to download the Windows ISO image for this I'm going to click on the drop down menu and I'm going to select Windows 10 you can do this for Windows 11 it works exactly the same thing the process is basically the same I'm going to create Windows 10 continue okay for the release I'm going to leave it as default continue for the addition I'm going to leave it default continue language English you can select uh, your language here I'm going to select English United States continue architecture 64 and download okay select where you want the um, the ISO image to be downloaded I'm going to select my desktop and I'm going to click save from that point on the image will be downloaded into your desktop I'm going to skip this process since I have already uh, went ahead um, and downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel out of here so that is basically what we're using uh, Rufus in order to download the ISO image so the next step is to create the answer file so for that I'm going to head over to the browser and I'm going to type windowsafg.com and that is going to take me to this page here which is Windows answer file generator here on, on the desktop tab I'm going to select Windows 10 master boot record okay if you are doing this for a physical computer and your computer supports UEFI BIOS you might want to select this one notice if you take a look at this page notice that basically these are all the answers that you have to re, um, to answer when you install uh, Windows on a computer so that's basically what we're doing we're building an answer file location United States for nodes I'm not going to enter anything product key I'm going to leave the default uh, license agreement I'm going to leave it as yes um, you can accept most of this default for example here computer name you have to enter your own computer name so I'm going to say um, win 10 PC 01 okay organization name home net okay next here uh, keyboard layout I'm going to select uh, United States English for currency same for time zone uh, Eastern Eastern time US Canada for US language again English United States out of box experience uh, network location home you can select here between work or home um, protect your computer I'm going to leave it as default to non express settings and I'm going to select the default for everything else uh, one uh, word of caution here in this section here partition settings it is important that you select the right uh, settings here because notice that the partition uh, we're going to format using NTFS file system uh, main, parti main partition needs to be active in order for an operating system to boot it needs to have a, an active partition and install to this will be on disk 0 uh, partition order will be, C, will, will be number 2 and the partition letter will be C ok here on the user account username I'm going to enter mine I'm going to leave the group as administrators 
description i'm going to type user password is optional i'm not going to enter a password although you could you could enter a dummy password and then later reset the password i'm going to leave a blank uh, notice that if you leave a blank it'll auto log in without asking you for a prop for a password uh, password expires false auto login yes and if you scroll down this is the actual um, file that you can download notice that you have a link here it says download file and the name of the file is unattended.xml actually if i click on this um, arrow here and i go show in folder it'll tell me it'll take me there um, so i'm going to click this one doesn't have the the one the um the number one but basically it's the same i'm going to drag it to my desktop it should be on my desktop now it's this one here so the next step is to open the iso image that we downloaded okay so i'm going to right click on the image and i'm going to say open with power iso and uh, we have the content of that ISO image inside Power ISO. So now what we need to do, we need to add this unattended .xml to the root directory of the ISO file. Okay. And then we are going to rebuild the ISO image. So I'm going to click on add. I'm going to select my desktop. And I'm going to select the unattended .xml. Click add. And now it's here. So now what I need to do, I need to recreate the ISO image. So I'm going to click save. Do you want to rewrite that image? Um, better note, just in case. Let's do save as. And I'm going to call it underscore copy. Okay. And I'm going to place it on my desktop. I'm going to click save. And now it's saved the image. Okay, so um, process complete. The ISO image has been rebuilt. I'm going to close out of here, and this is the ISO image. So now, in order to install it, I'm going to install it in a, in a virtual machine. I'm going to use Hyper-V for this. Um, I already have a virtual machine already created. I'm going to right-click settings because now I need to attach this ISO image. Um, so the machine can boot up from the ISO image. Okay, so I need to come down to DVD drive. And here where it says ISO image, I'm going to click browse, desktop, and I'm select copy ISO image. And, and that's one more thing. I need to go into BIOS. And make sure that the computer can boot up from this uh, the order of boot um, it's in the correct order uh, okay so that is everything click ok and let's go ahead and boot the machine and from that point on we shouldn't have to interact with the installation process so double click click start all right so it's prompting me to press any kit in order to boot from the cd And from this point on, we shouldn't have to uh, do anything else.
all right and so installation complete and so that's it for this video guys subscribe give it a like leave a comment and see you in the next video